the Camp Aska Podcast. Serving children and adults with disabilities for over 30 years. Interviews with the people that make Aska special. Here we go. And will this be her first time to come to camp? This is her second year. Okay, and how old is she? She's 12. This is my second time. Did you already know a lot of the girls in your cabin? Do you remember them from last year? Um, about three of them I know. Last year I know she really enjoyed uh, meeting the other kids with diabetes. She's not got a lot of uh, diabetic children around her in school. So it was a good experience for her to be around other kids that are going through the same thing. I remember always having fun with all the girls because they we have a lot in common. So. It's been looking forward to camp since you left last year. She's been counting down for. Yeah, she's been counting down for like a month. She's been counting down since Christmas, March. Oh, we we hear every detail of every activity that they did and everything about every person she met. <laughs> every it, the stories go on for months. I've been diabetic 26 years, and my one time I got to go to camp when the year after I was diagnosed, I say it was the best summer of my life because it was just so much fun. So I wanted definitely to make sure Courtney got that opportunity to to go, and now she gets to come back every year, so that's awesome. You get to be some, with somebody who is more like you than other people because there's, in a small town like where I live, there's not that many diabetics, so I don't get to talk to them very much. And um, it's nice to be able to talk to girls my age who have diabetes. Okay, well how do you feel about the staff being pretty much all diabetic themselves? It's great. I mean, it's, it's a, a comfort to know. I don't feel apprehensive at all. Camp Aska, Alabama's special camp for children and adults, serving people with disabilities for over 30 years. Share the site with anyone you know that can benefit from our programs and facilities.